hello guys welcome back to another calc video tutorials in this video tutorial we will go through a steel column we'll design it and analyze it so as you know this is my project manager where it will have my design beams columns and footings all of the stuff so i'll just go over here and i'll select add as soon as this tab pops up you can just select steel column and a new window opens up wherein you have all the databases regarding the steel so I'll select my overall column height will be I'll keep it as 10 feet and design stress or analysis method I'll have all RFT my FI of steel um, model like my yield strength will be 36 KSI you can make it 60 or 50 KSI and my bending model S will be nothing but 29,000 KSI so we have 60 KSI and um, we can just select whichever grade we want like I'll select A572 or A92 there you go select that so the uh, yield strength pops up and next coming over here you just uh, write it down whatever you are working on or the name of the column let's say steel column C1 as you see material is already selected steel over here we have end fix it is this like like you, have, you should have learned in uh, design of steel columns like uh, pin pin condition fixed pin condition fixed free condition pin free condition sort of so basically in our uh, projects the most basic thing is we'll have top as pinned and uh, bottom as fixed so I'll select that now going over to my column data uh, I can select my steel section whichever I want uh, and also on this side I get to select and even I can select it from here so let's say I'll have W section 10 by 12 and now we need to add loads so you can even see we can edit the values over here we can like create our own section if you have the values so going to loads first thing I'll add an axial load of 10 kips dead and 10 kips live and I'll say add load the next load I'm gonna add is again 10 kips and 10 kips and an eccentricity of 1 inch and 1 inch I can make it 3 inches I'm just increasing the eccentricity so as, so, so as to show you uh, when does this like fail and pass so as you see I increased my eccentricity and the section is failing right now so what I can do is I can just go back and select another section which passes so as you can see now the section W10 by 15 is passing and it's 85% stress ratio which is not bad going to the loads again so uh, you have over here lateral load in here mm, you can add load and over here you need to select whatever the type of load is I'll say moment and then I'll say 100 kip feet moment acting at a location 10 or top 10 feet like acting at the top and so 
so now you see it's failing so what we can do is like let me just reduce this value 50 by 50 and right now you can see it's still failing okay leave that we'll go to our slenderness tab so in here you can see that x6 axis and yy axis are fully braced on both sides which is like not possible unless and until they are braced so um, I'm gonna select my kx factor I'm gonna use my overall column height and my condition is pinned fixed so I'm gonna select that now I'll do that in similarly in xx axis so as you know that in xx axis it is kind of braced so if you see the sketch so this is y y axis and this is x x axis so there is no chance of bending occurring along x x axis like about x x axis so if the uh, if the column is gonna bend then it's gonna bend in this direction nothing but in about y y axis so that is why uh, we were unable to uh, enter the kx factor which is which it says that it is already braced along xx axis but for y y we had to enter use overall height and enter our condition which is fixed pin so now going back to loads and our capacities so you see it's 2.526 what i can do is and i have also added lateral load moment just to show you the moments coming from hippo columns and slabs I can even add moment about x y y axis so I'll just go to my column data and I'll select some other member 10 by 33 so you can see it's passing but it's it's better to be at 90% sure there you go 10 by 39 is passing so this is one way of making sure the column whichever you take is passing for the given loads another way is you enter your loads you have your conditions and you go to column data and you say design you just select that design button you make sure what type of column you want say w column and make sure you select your maximum stress ratio nothing but 1.0 and the depth class can be from 2 to 14 or you can increase to whatever number you want so I'll just keep it till 14 and I'll say start design and now it will give me a window with all the sections that pass so as you see all the sections are sections are passing and uh, they are up to 14 So you can see this has the maximum stress ratio and uh, is kind of an economical section being 12 by 30 but however we can select 14 by 30 just to be on safe side which has 0 0.882 I'll just say select that and it will be selected. zero point eight eight two looks good nothing but fourteen by thirty yep fourteen by thirty looks good and then also we have 
8 by 40 8 by 40 is a little heavier section so I'll just go by 14 by 30 I'll select that so you can see it's already selected and all the results are generated you can see in maximum load con conditions like pass 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 everything bending stress ratios shear stress ratios everything passes you can go to detailed results you can select whichever load condition you want and you can see the deflections in there and also you have over here uh, moment values then again comes load con combiner sorry reactions for different load combinations you can even see the sketch we had over here and we applied the moment then over here you have uh, graphs for different load combinations so as you see shear is almost same like it's a straight line kind of coming to the moment you can see how it keeps <laughs> varying for different load combinations even the deflection there you go finally we'll just see a 3d drawing of our column So there you go that is a pin section and over here is a fixed condition so this is the way you do a steel column in NR calc which is a really nice application thank you for watching guys